The South Holston, located near Bluff City, Tennessee, is one of the premier trout fisheries in the east, and we think in the country. If there's a better river in the southeast, we want to fish it. We guide on this river, wade fishing during low water, and doing float trips during times of generation. Sulfurs, blue wing olives, and caddis hatches provide some of the best dry fly action anywhere, which makes catching 18 inch plus fish on top not uncommon. Nymph and midge fishing make up the bulk of low water fishing when hatches are not taking place. On float trips, fishing will consist of dries, nymphs, or streamers based on conditions. We don't recommend this river for novices because of its technical nature and sometimes finicky fish, but its rewards can be fantastic. The Watauga River near Elizabethton, Tennessee is another premier tailwater of the southeast. Floatable almost any time, the Watauga is where we guide most of our float trips for trout. The majority of these floats include the special regulation water known as the trophy section. This float trip is a joy to fish, even for novice anglers, being a lot less technical or as hard to fish as the South Holston. The bulk of the fly fishing consists of nymphs under strike indicators, although some dry fly action does take place from time to time. Most of the trout population consists of rainbows with some nice browns mixed in. The wild rainbows on the Watauga are some of the most beautiful we've ever seen and we don't think you'll be disappointed with this trip. The New River in both North Carolina and Virginia has been our stomping grounds for years. A lot of articles have been written about the New in the last couple of years, leading many guides to jump on the New River bandwagon, but we have been guiding on the New River for over five years. We guide both on the headwaters running along the North Carolina-Virginia border and in Virginia below Claytor Lake in Giles County, the top trophy smallmouth bass fishery in the eastern United States. The lower New River below Claytor Lake is comparable to a tailwater trout fishery in that the fishing is more technical, but as you can see, the rewards can be phenomenal. The upper New is geared more towards anyone, especially beginners as it is smaller water and not dam controlled. It contains an abundance of small fish, although lunkers do exist, just not in the numbers they do on the lower New. We welcome both spin and fly fishermen on our guided smallmouth float trips. Scrappy, hard-fighting smallmouth bass with great scenery. What more could you ask for? Perhaps an occasional muskie. We are now offering wade trips for Pennsylvania steelhead on Lake Erie tributaries. The fly fishing on these streams borders on the insane. On good days, 30 hookups are not uncommon, and 10 plus hookup days are the norm. No chuck and duck with sinking lines here. The streams are small enough to fish with floating lines and strike indicators. This is the most awesome fishing period.
One word of caution though, steelhead fishing is addictive. You've never fly fished until you hook an 8 to 10 pound chrome steelhead. Explosive is an understatement. Don't let the fact that the stream is small fool you into believing that there are no big fish to be caught. Some of our most productive days have come from fishing the small streams of North Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia, as the number of fish caught can be amazing. Between Marty and Jeff, they have over 40 years experience fly fishing small streams and feel right at home taking you on a walk-in trip to experience the beautiful fish and mountains of the southeast. Come spend a great day of fishing and learning about the area that we call home. You will enjoy the scenery as much as the fishing. North Carolina's delayed harvest streams are the perfect classroom for beginning anglers, visiting anglers pressed for time, or intermediate anglers wanting to brush up on certain techniques. Come join us for a day on North Carolina's delayed harvest streams. Whether you're looking for a float trip on the Tennessee tailwaters, smallmouth bass fishing on the New River, steelhead in Pennsylvania, small stream wild trout, or delayed harvest fishing, we're the guide service for you. Experienced anglers and novices alike can hook up with Tri-State Angler Guide Service for a most memorable fishing experience.